Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Coinbase app for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be new to cryptocurrency or to trading using cryptocurrency. Now in this case, you're looking into Coinbase. Is it actually good and how do you start using it? Well, in this case, we first need to learn more what is Coinbase here. Now Coinbase actually has a multiple uses. So we have Coinbase here, which is the actual web website that we are going to use right now, but we also have Coinbase wallet. So in this case, those are two different things. So in this case, we'll be using the Coinbase uh, website here. But if you want to use the mobile version, you can go ahead and start using it. But in this case, how do we get started? How do we create our account? Well, it's actually fairly easy. So first thing you need to do here is you need to go to their official website, which is going to be coinbase.com. Now, once in their website, what we need to do is we need to sign up into their platform. Well, in this case, at the top right, go ahead and click on sign up. And from here, you need to provide your email. Now, alternatively, you could also sign up using your Google account here if you want to. So for example, if you want to connect your to those two different accounts, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go ahead and do this manually. In this case, we need to enter our email here. So we could choose our email here and click on continue. Now, in this case, you need to fill, up, fill out some information about yourself. So that includes your first name, your last name, as well as a password that you want to use for your account. Now, it is suggested that you have at least a minimum of eight, eight characters on it, as well as adding some special characters or numbers into your password just to make it more secured. Now, also, you need to certify that you're at least 18 years old or of legal age, and you've also read the user agreement and privacy policy in here. In this case, user agreement and privacy policy here is actually highlighted in blue, so you can just go ahead, open up, open this up in a new tab, and you could go ahead and read through all the sections and the agreements in here. But once you've done that, you can go and just click on I certify, fill out all the information, and just click on create a free account. Now, once you've clicked on free, create free account, it will redirect you to another page where in this case, they might ask you some further information and some sensitive information about yourself. Like for example, your uh, date of birth, your uh, IDs, or even your address. Now, this is actually required by different countries. So depending on where region that you're accessing Coinbase, the policies and regulations for Coinbase might differ. So for example, in Coinbase, uh, AU, you need to provide some ID in order for you to start using the platform itself. So that's the first thing you will see once you've created your account, you need to verify yourself. So in this case, make sure to have a photo of your ID, maybe a passport or a driver's license for in order for you to provide. Because again, you need to provide a picture of those and they will actually review that. And once your account is actually approved or once your account is actually reviewed, you should be able to start using the platform itself. Now, in this case, I already have my account, so let's go ahead and log in into my account. So I've just logged in into my account here. So in this case, you might be wondering what I'm talking about with the verification process. Now in this case, at the very center of your screen here, you should be able to see a section that says almost there or the steps you need to take to verify yourself. So that includes uh, create, uh, creating your account, verifying some information, adding some payment method, and as well as buying your first crypto. So that's the first four steps you need to complete here in order for you to fully start using your account. Now in this case, how do we start using it and what are going to be the different sections here that we could actually access? Now, first of all, this is the uh, main homepage for Coinbase. So this includes the general idea or general information regarding our account. So that includes the homepage. We also have the My Assets section, which contains our assets. That, ex that includes your crypto. Now, if you want to buy and sell crypto, you could choose the trade option here. And if you want to learn more or basically access different ways of actually earning uh, via Coinbase, like for example, staking, you should be able to go to earn here. Now, they also have different section here like learning rewards, web free here, but we'll be focusing on the main assets or the main functionality in here. Now, also you have the functionality to buy and sell crypto at the top right here. We also have the send and receive at the top right as well. 
Like for example, if you already have an existing crypto that you want to send, you can just basically click on send or receive and choose the appropriate one here. Like for example, if you want to send, you could go and choose send here, but you first need to have some form of cryptocurrency already available on your account because you need to check, uh, basically select it in here. And then once you've selected that, you just need to follow the next steps or in the next page, which are going to be uh, somewhat sensitive. So you just need to provide the address that the user that they that will be uh given to you like for example they giving you their bitcoin address you just need to provide that as well as remember when you're sending or receiving crypto you also need to take note about the network that you'll be using now now in this case make sure that the receiver is actually using the same network that you're actually sending on now incorrectly giving or setting the network for that will include or will result in you losing your funds or they will not be able to receive that specific cryptocurrency now in this case you just need to choose either send or receive here so if you choose receive you should be able to uh get your address here but first you need to choose your cryptocurrency and you should be able to get your address or your QR code that you need to send to your uh sender in this case, sometimes you might get the uh, notification here that says we're reviewing your account here. So sometimes uh, some user would actually get this one, especially if their account is uh, quite new. So in this case, you just need to wait for the verification process to complete. But once the verification process is complete, you should be able to fully access your account. Now, in this case, uh, what are the other things that we could basically see here? Now, at the left section here, let's go to the My Assets section. Now, in the My Assets section, you should be able to see all the assets that you have in your account. That includes your cash and your crypto. Now, in this case, if you have any crypto here, you should be able to see the total amount of crypto you have right now, as well as the amount that crypto actually is or is actually worth right now. Now, in this case, if you want to trade or start trading, you can just click on the trade at the left side here. And it should be able to redirect you to the section here, which in this case, you should be able to see different cryptocurrency here. Now, also at the right side, you have the buy, sell, and convert option as well. So, for example, we want to go to Bitcoin here. Let's go ahead and select this one. Now, in here, you should be able to see the uh, overview for Bitcoin. So, in this case, how it, how Bitcoin is actually faring right now. So, in this case, there's going to be a, a bullish happening right now. So, currently, this is set to one day. So, meaning this is what happened the whole day right now. So, one uh, from 1.25 a.m. to 11.15 p.m., of the current day right now this is what how, what happened to bitcoin so there's going there's a lot of uh, uptrend right now and a bit of downtrend and uptrend again but it's actually quite consistent throughout the day but in this case you should be able to have a general idea on what is going to happen right now but if you want to change the current uh, time span for your chart here you just basically choose either one week one month one year or basically all so from the beginning and to the end in here now, if you want to change to one hour, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, if the window or section here that says buy, sell, and convert is actually available, so in this window, you just need to provide how much you want to buy, but you first need to have some form of payment already available in your account, or in this case, some balance already deposited into your account. Now, we also have the primary uh, vault here. But in this case, you should be able to a primary balance here, which in this case, you should be able to see the current balance here. You also have the vault here. So in this case, it's a great place to store your crypto for long term. So if you want to save some crypto, this is where you'll be able to uh, basically uh, create your vaults. Now, in this case, uh, maybe I want to go to earn here. So earn, it, it will actually give you uh, different ways on actually uh, getting or basically uh, getting ideas on how to uh, earn more. So, so instead of just trading, you could be, you should be able to access other tools that they actually offer here for you to start earning in Coinbase uh, as well. Now, in this case, you might notice that at the bottom left, we have the advanced option. So currently, we are only using the basic version of Coinbase right now. So if you switch this one to advanced, the whole look of Coinbase here would actually uh, be different. As you can see, the UI here uh, in Coinbase is going to be a lot different. So if you saw like traders or YouTubers using this chart here, it's called a, a candle uh, chart here. So in this case, you should be able to start using it, especially for people 
who are more versed into trading they also have tools here that you could use uh to uh, basically uh determine or predict the prices of crypto right now so i have the trend line here if you have chasement and if brush the text tool if you want to add some text and some trade history here as well so i also have the order book here so people who are actually selling and people who are actually uh, buying in here now, in this case at the bottom, this is where you'll be able to see the, your orders because in this window, again, if it's actually available to you, you should be able to see a window, which in this case, you'll be able to place order. So see, so since we all know that cryptocurrency is actually uh, volatile, so prices could actually change from uh, from being very low to very high or very high to being very low so you won't be able to actually determine uh, exactly what's the price for the next second or millisecond so that's why you need to place an order so whenever an order actually reaches a specific price they will either sell or buy that specific amount that you've indicated into your window in here now, in this case, you could go to derivatives here if you want to. So in this case, you should be able to see this uh, type of chart. We have our portfolio, which includes all our portfolio right now, our cash, our crypto, how much it's currently worth, and our total balance in our account right now. Now, you should be able to also see your open orders here. So the orders that you placed on your spot or during your trading in here. You also have orders uh, section here. And again, it will contain all the orders I have right now. So if you want to cancel all your orders, just click on cancel all here. We'll have the fills here. So the fees as well. This is where you'll be, you'll be able to actually see them. Now, in this case, again, you should be able to see the earn section here. So if you want to uh, get more ideas on how to get earning or more earnings in Coinbase here. Also have the NFTs here for Web3 and data ad the apps here and coinbase verification as well they also have the advanced api and recurring buys as well now if you want to access your settings so typically you just need to uh basically click on your profile at the top right here and from here you should be able to see settings and if you want to change a few things about your account like updating your password you should be able to do that by via that window now in this case you have notification security advanced trade and displays and activity so if you want to remove certain logins to your account you should be able to go to activity here and api account limits and a lot more so obviously there's going to be a lot of things that you could visit here but uh since you're just beginning uh beginning on using a coinbase here it is actually suggested to first uh, the, uh familiarize yourself with the uis and the uh settings that is available in crypto or in coinbase here before you actually start trading again it is essential that you first verify yourself and wait for them to actually verify your account before you actually start trading but yeah so that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video